Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Neha and today I am going to swatch and review few of my lipstick. I have done this kind of video before as well but those shades were completely different from what I have today. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first lipstick I would love to talk about is Lakme 9 to 5 Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Plum Feather. This lipstick has a nice moussey texture. It is not too heavy on your lips but still feels that you have something on your lips. And this blends so good on your cheeks as well as a blush. It is really good. It lasts for almost 5 to 6 hours on your lips. It blends really well as a blush and it has a deep top applicator which really helps to cover your lips really nicely and this is how the swipe looks this is how pigmented the lipstick is the color is really pretty it is a bright pink shade it blends really well on your cheek and you can build up the intensity by layering it up the only con i think for this lipstick is the entire collection comes with the same packaging and even the bottom is not color coordinated so if you own more than one lipstick then you won't be able to identify the color by just looking at the packaging the next lipstick i have is from nika so matte range this is called sugar plum martini it has a subtle satin finish to it it is not completely matte but it is not going to dry out your lips and the application is really soft it doesn't tug or pull your lips this is the color you can intensify the pigmentation by applying two to three layers it stays for three to four hours and the reapplication is not at all patchy this range has a lot of shades red pink nude as well for all skin tone it has a soft matte finish and feels really comfortable on your lips some darker shades are patchy from this range but you can go for a mini version of this lipstick if you want to try one out. Moving on to the iconic Ruby Goof from Max Recommendation. This is a universally flattering red shade which will suit all the skin tones. This is a blue toned red color which will make your teeth look more white and this has a super long lasting power for almost 6 to 7 hours. However, this might be slight drying for some people this formula tends to dry out your lips but if you want to go for such a beautiful red color without drying out your lips you can also try russian red this is from their matte lipstick collection this is a matte shade this will last on your lips for almost five hours reapplication is buttery smooth this is also a nice universally flattering red shade and this also has a blue undertone which means it will also make your teeth look more white and this is how the russian red color looks it has a really smooth application and it won't tuck or pull your lips it won't feel as drying as ruby woo however if you want to see a side by side comparison this is ruby woo both look similar and both are blue undertone red color but if you want to go for a little non drying lipstick then you can try the russian red then i have nika spain stick in the shade number 14 this is a nice pinkish purple shade this is so buttery smooth lipstick these are not transfer proof lipstick they are going to transfer but they are so comfortable on your lips these have medium pigmentation and you can definitely build the intensity by reapplying the lipstick the shade range of these lipstick is also pretty wide this is how the hand swatch looks they stay on your lips for almost four hours and then you can go ahead and reapply the lipstick 
and these are pretty ideal to use every day as well because they are not going to dry out your lips then i have l'oreal's rouge signature lipstick these lipsticks have water consistency so they don't feel very heavy on your lips in fact you don't even feel that you are wearing any lipstick and these won't dry out your lips initially they do transfer for first few minutes of application but then onwards they are completely transfer proof lipstick i have two shades in this because these are darker shades i notice that they leave a stain on my lips even if the entire lipstick is gone you still have a stain on your lips these feel like a tint but they have a really nice pigmentation and you can build up the intensity by applying two to three layers because these have so thin consistency you can easily apply two to three layers and they won't dry out your lips at all this is a 103 i enjoy and this is how the color look this is a single swipe and this one is shade number 136 कंट्रोल द amount of lipstick you are applying and this has a nice pointy tip to it and even after removing the lipstick this is how much it has stained on my lips and you can see the stain clearly on my hands as well well that's it for today's video guys if you like this video then do not forget to click the like button subscribe to my channel it's completely free hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time i post Follow me on Instagram at beautifully Neha, and I'll see you next time. Bye.